Those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. Now, can you or can you not? No, you just want to sit on the sideline and talk about other people. Or can you step up? Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody is having a great day. I am a bit on the piss side. I, I, I'm just... At some point, you want to just pull your hair out. Fortunately, I got plenty of hair here to grab a hold of. But this is getting to just be ridiculous because the Cowboys basically screw themselves over and then look for sympathy from the masses. Okay? Stephen Jones is an enigma is an enigma okay there was the enigma machine i think it was the germans that was their um decoding you know so that way they could send messages out to the troops and stuff like that it was a machine to code the messages it was an, they called it an enigma the definition of an enigma means they're you know if you call a person an enigma they're hard to figure out the reasons behind what they do and say are not easily understood some people try to be enigmas, to be mysterious. The adjective, to be enigmatic, can be used to describe someone or something that's puzzling or a mystery. And it is a mystery. It's a mystery to me, the ineptitude of Stephen Jones and the Dallas Cowboys and their whole situation and not being able to change. See, understand this. Dinosaurs are no longer here because they could not adapt to the changing environments. Earl's TV and Blockbuster are businesses that could not adapt and change. Amazon, on the other hand, which started out as a mail order book business, evolved into the mega company that we can't seem to live without even though they can't seem to get my damn toilet here okay they can't seem to get the toilet here unbroken okay that, 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 i didn't ordered it now three times two times first time it came in broken the second time the second one of the boxes didn't come in now the third time we'll find out wednesday if it's right but be that as it may they're one of the biggest companies in the world because they realize we can't just sell books. We have to change with the times. Jerry and Stephen Jones cannot change with the times. They are repeating exactly verbatim the same stupid mistakes over and over and over again and expect a different result expecting a different result and then try to sell it to us the bullshit that is that they're feeding us they literally yesterday jerry jones and talking about contracts and asking you know well jordan love got his contract and literally you know said well you know is dak prescott better than him he wouldn't go on the on there and say one way or the other if he thought he was better and I pointed out this morning, you, you do that because if you say he's better, then you say he deserves more money. Well, he's at the top of the food chain at $55 million. So Stephen Jones, on shout out to da-da-da-da-da-da, damn Gina, who shared with me John Machoda's uh, article here about describing exactly what Stephen Jones has said. Stop me when you've heard this shit before. Cowboys executive vice president Stephen Jones on Dallas Fort Worth ticket while talking about Dallas current contract situations with Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. The top of the quarterback market with Joe Burrow at $55 million per year has stopped. Obviously, a guy like Pat Mahomes, all he has to do is raise his hand. <laughs> you know, Pat Mahomes, all he has to do is raise his hand. And I think Mahomes also is liking winning those championships. And he knows he can only take so much before uh, what he can have around him. Travis Kelsey did the same thing. He could have probably walked away with a bit more money in terms of what they got in a tight end market. I think all of those things have to come into play. Okay, let me stop right here. Let me stop right here 
because when Joe Burrow got paid, he got paid last year when the salary cap was $220 million. Okay? So when you look at the percentages of $55 million of last year versus $55 million this year, $55 million this year is actually less. But be that as it may. Be that as it may. He puts up there Joe Burrow, who has been to a Super Bowl, has done well against Pat Mahomes. No disputing there. But however, what he doesn't also mention in there is there's guys like Trevor Lawrence who just got $55 million. $55 million, who was the number one pick, who has been a bit of a disappointment. Number two in turnovers in his time of being in the NFL. And Jordan Love who's only had an 18-game resume, which only nine of them were really good games. So to say that Joe Burrow, you're actually saying that Joe Burrow is at the top by himself. He he is not. Let's go on a little further here. One of the greatest things about Texas, you don't have state income taxes. Companies like to move here because it's a lower cost of living than it is in some of the other big cities. Oh, excuse me. Let me let me make sure I say this correctly. Because it's lower cost of living than it is in some of those other big cities. You know, like New York City and all. Those are things that we try to sell our players so we can put the other guys around Dak. CD, Micah, Diggs, Terrence Steele. At some point, we want to keep from being able to put those guys around them um the guys you put around them it's not like you're the eagles and they go out and you you trade for aj brown and bring him in or decide to sign saquon barkley or any of the other multitudes of players. You you have this whole mentality where it seems like you're trying to tell us that you can't do this because the players are greedy. When you just had Tua, who got $53 million, who has Jalen Waddell at $29 million, who has Tariq Hill, who's looking to get more money at $30 million, who has traded for... Jalen Ramsey, who is $19 million a year. How is it that the Miami Dolphins can seemingly continue to put talent around their guys constantly? Or the Eagles, or any of these other teams. But somehow, the Cowboys, you need to take less money. What they're doing right here... Let me read the last paragraph. This is where the enigma comes in. So you basically say, Dak, you know, if you you get paid, then CD can't stay and Micah can't stay and and you're going to play by yourself. That's what you're saying, which is fine. I hear what you're saying. Now, this is where the enigma part comes in. At the same time, I totally understand that they want to be paid and it's their time to be paid. And we respect that as well. Certainly, they deserve it. They do their job as well as anyone in the league. Whether you're talking about CD, Dak, Micah, Diggs, all those guys play at a high level, and they deserve to be paid. But we ain't going to pay them. We ain't going to pay them. So the sad part about this is, the sad part about this is, you have guys that literally give Everything. Everything. Um, I don't know about you, but if my ankle did what Dak Prescott's did, I'm not sure I'm stepping out on the field again. I, I honestly don't. I'm not sure seeing that thumb broken into three pieces that I'm coming back in five weeks. I'm not sure that I could do that for people that literally try and nickel and dime you and screw you over. Because, see, 
what you should also put in here is what you really need to say is we have screwed up over the years when we paid Zeke, we paid too much. When we ended up doing Jalen Smith, we screwed the pooch and had dead money. That we have made mistakes after mistakes, and that's kind of put us in a financial bind. So the people who are actually performing, we're short to pay them. Maybe instead of trying to say, yeah, you guys, you can't have what you want because you're greedy. That's the problem here. That is the problem is Stephen Jones is trying to blame Dak, as he puts it, deserves to be paid. CD, as he puts it, deserves to be paid. That they want to have more because they performed. But the problem is they've screwed up. And the thing about it is you could have done CDs last year. You talked about an extension last year. Last year, you talked about doing an extension for CD Lamb. And wouldn't it have been nice if you had done that? And he was somewhere like, you know, 25, 26 million. Wouldn't it have been nice if you had done Dak Prescott last year when Lamar Jackson was getting his 52 and Jalen Hurts was getting his 51 and you had gotten Dak Prescott done there too and said maybe it's $50 million coming off of the season where he had the broken thumb? Yeah. So the blame goes to you, Stephen. And in the end, the guys that you're trying to jip the guys that you're trying to nickel and dime are the guys that are actually keeping you relevant. Because I can guarantee you, Dak ain't here and CD ain't here. You ain't make the playoffs last year, bro. You're not getting the 12 wins a season without those guys that you're trying to screw over. So there you have it. Steven Jones. The Cowboys' worst enemy when it comes to trying to win a Super Bowl. And this shit is just ridiculous. And this is where you know you're just speaking bullshit. Have a nice day, good people. And I'll see you all real soon. Peace out.